Hello and welcome to this new Scale 500 news video here on the channel, although not so much news and more how to find information about your aircraft model and what it might be worth. Because in my previous news video I actually talked about that there are plenty of places out there where you can get free information about the aircraft model and maybe not that surprising there was a comment asking me well, but where can I find this information? And instead of just answering the question to this one person, I thought this might be information that is of interest to more of you guys. So this is why we are doing this video. So in this video, we will take a closer look at my favorite websites where to find more information about your aircraft models. So the first website that is useful if you want to know more about your models is helper.de. Unfortunately, this website is pretty much only in German, even though it has been around for a few years now, but HEPA has still not managed to make it bilingual. But you can find some useful information here. And for that, you need to go under the news section and then under the subsection downloads, where you then find this lovely German word named Neuheiten Prospekte. These are the uh, leaflets where HEPA has their announcements. So you can see you have cars and trucks, but of course, more crucially, also the wings section. So this is, of course, useful if you want to see what Harper has announced. So what is coming up in the future. And also, if we, for example, go into one of these leaflets, we can see that we have the images or renderings of these models. And also very useful, we have the prices that uh, Harper would like to uh, take for these models. So these are the official retail prices of Harpowings. This does not mean that these are the prices that you will see in shops. Most shops uh, do have discounts from day one because, of course, um, the retail prices of Harpowings are detached from reality. But here you can then basically figure out, okay, what is coming up in the future? What has been announced? You can also go a little bit back into the past and see what has helped announced uh, in the past. Uh, some of these models have been released, some of them haven't yet, so they might be delayed. But there is a catch, and you can see it already here. Hamper does only go back for one year. So after one year, these leaflets are deleted from the website. And that might be impractical because sometimes you might want to go a little bit further back and see what has Hamper actually announced maybe two years ago, three years ago, or ten years ago. And for that, there is another website. So welcome to the best archive of uh, HAPA news leaflets that I know of so far. Here you can go back in time and see all the uh, different leaflets that have been released over the years. In fact, you can go back all the way to 2001 here. This is the only year where you only have one news leaflet. I think there are some missing here, but for all other years, you have the complete selection of uh, leaflets. So all six that were released every year because they're always released for two months at a time. So this is really super practical. So you can just go into here 2011 or 102 releases and see what that looked like, what models were um, announced back then. And of course, also, which can be quite practical, what was the retail price, the official retail price back in the day? So for example, here a 767-300 of Air New Zealand used to cost 22 euros back in 2011. I would love to have these prices again. Now, what I think is new here is also that they do have some information about Gemini jets and Aero Classics, but as you can see, they don't go quite as far back as with Hapa Wings. But this does mean, of course, this is also a useful or can be a useful website for those collecting other scales than scale 500. Another good website to check out if you want to know more about the aircraft models in various scales is the Dima Archive. Here you can basically find pretty much all models that have been released at some point over the years. What is great about this website is that it does actually also give you a kind of valuation of what the model is costing. As far as I know, what it's basically doing here is uh, looking at what models have been sold for, so the minimum value and the maximum value, and then basically taking an average around for that estimation. How up to date this information is, I, I can't really say, and I would always take these numbers with a grain of salt. 
but it is some form of indication. But I will get into another way how to find out what your models might be worth, um, but that we will look at in just a second. Because although this website is pretty all right and you can search for your models, and there's actually another website which I prefer when looking into models and trying to figure out, um, well, when were they produced? how many times have they been made, uh, who has made them, are there other manufacturers that might have made a similar model. For that, I would like to go to what I say is my favorite website when it comes to looking into model archives. So welcome to the model airplane database. I believe that the data that this uh, website is um, drawing its information from is basically the same database as with the DEMA website, but I just prefer the layout of uh, this website. I think the search function is just more straight forward. A quick interruption here from myself in the future editing this video. At the moment, while I'm editing this video, I have been trying to look at this website and for the moment it uh, looks like it is offline. But I've been using this uh, website for years. So I don't know what has happened, but I hope it is only temporary. And once uh, this video is out on YouTube, I hope the website is up and running again. And here you can simply search for everything you've got. Any information you might have on an aircraft model, you can start searching for. So a registration code, for example, you can search just on the scale of an aircraft model, uh, what manufacturer has made the model, the aircraft type, the airline, or the um, article number, the production number of a aircraft model. So that is super useful um, and you can get loads of interesting information. So let's just take an example. For example, we would like to see um, all scale 500 aircraft models of, um, let's pick an airline. Let's say we would like to see all scale 500 aircraft models from Air Canada. So then I simply search and now uh, the database will show me all the aircraft models in scale 500 that have been produced with the Air Canada livery. And there are of course uh, loads of them. And uh, what I can see is of course the scale which I have selected, but then I get the product number, I get the production year, the registration code. There's a tiny little thumbnail showing the model um, that could be improved, but you get a lot of basic information here. Um, so this is for example, also extremely useful if you, for example, have found a model on a, on, on a website on eBay or a collector's fair and you're not quite sure I mean, maybe you don't know who has made the model or um, you would like to know when it was made, and then you can simply enter the information you have and search for it and uh, find this on the website. I, I haven't come across a model that I haven't been able to find on this database yet, but of course there might be some missing, but pretty much almost everything that has been ever produced in whatever scale should be on this database. So a super, super useful website. All right, so one thing is finding out the basic information. So when was the model produced, who made it, and other alternatives to it. But what about buying and selling models? Well, a crucial information here to know is, of course, the value of the model. And while there is never a precise number for that, there are some websites that are quite useful when trying to figure out what a model is actually worth. This is, of course, great to know when you want to sell your model so you don't undervalue your model, but also when you want to buy a model and you are not quite sure if the price the model is set at is a realistic price, if you are spending too much on it, or if you maybe are in front of a bargain. All right, so one nice way to find out or at least get an idea of what a model might be worth or at least what it currently is sold for is to look on eBay. Now here it is important that eBay is not just eBay. There are plenty of uh, stores. So there, in this case here, we are on eBay.com, but you also have eBay.de or eBay.co.uk. And while it kind of is the same platform, not every item is shown on every version of eBay. So for example, if you're looking for a model on eBay.de and can't find it, it might be a good idea to look on eBay.co.uk because maybe it's listed there and often sellers are willing to send items to other countries even though they're only listed on one specific eBay store. But the main focus here is to figure out what is a model worth. So let's take, for example, an Aegean Airlines Airbus A321 in scale 1 to 500. Already a model that can be hard to find, 
but maybe you have one and want to sell it, so what could it be worth? Well, let's search for it, first of all. And if we search for it, well, we will see there isn't really anyone selling it at the moment. So that leaves us with really no information on what the model might be worth. But we can then go into the advanced search. And what we can do here is then say we would like to see sold items. Now, this will now show you, I think it's for the last six months or so, at least for the last few months, the models that have been sold. And we can see in December, there were actually two Aegean Airlines A321 Neos that were sold for, I mean, this is because I'm in Denmark, so this is showing me the price in uh, Danish crowns, but this would be, be around, I think, 200 euros and 150 euros. So, of course, this doesn't necessarily mean that this model is worth 150 to 200 euros, but it has been sold for around that price in the last few months. So if you are looking to sell it, now you have at least some form of indication what people seem to be willing to pay for it. All right, so we have now seen a few websites which can give you an indication of what the value of a model could be. But it is just an indication and you should always take these numbers with a grain of salt. And especially when you, for example, look into eBay and see, well, what has the model been sold for? Often these numbers get boosted simply because they aren't sold that many times. It's not because the model itself necessarily needs to be very rare, but of course it is always a question of supply and demand. And even though a model has been produced in the thousands, if it right now is only offered a very few times, then the price tends to, well, go up quite a bit. But that doesn't necessarily mean that the model itself is actually worth that much. And especially when the price exceeds the 100 euro barrier, I would always be a little bit hesitant because what you have to consider is how much would it cost you to have this model custom made? And I'm telling you, there aren't many custom models that would cost you more than 100 euros. So instead of chasing a model for far beyond 100 euros, maybe it might be an alternative to have it custom made if you can't make it yourself. In any case, whatever you decide, whether you want to sell a model or buy a model, I hope you find the model you want to have for a reasonable price. And I hope that these websites that I've shown you can help you in figuring out what model you have in front of you and what it might be worth. With that, it is time to end today's video. Don't forget, if you like this type of content, to leave a like. And of course, if you are new around here, why not hit subscribe? With that, thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you soon again. I'm checking out and bye.